We all encounter elements every day. Two elements that tend to get a bad rap are carbon and lead. We only tend to hear about the harm they can do, but what are the positives and what are those dangers? Carbon is element 6, located in group 4A. It's very versatile and has many practical uses. One of those uses is to make petroleum, which makes gasoline to power cars. Carbon is also used to make graphite, which can be used as a lubricant or compressed down to make pencil lead, among other things. Carbon can be made into a lightweight material called carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is used in such things as golf clubs, tennis rackets, airplanes, wind generator blades, and other things. Carbon, when compressed for years, forms diamonds. Carbon also has scientific uses. An isotope of carbon, called carbon-14, can be used to find ages of artifacts and fossils through a process called carbon dating. But with all the positives come some negatives. Carbon dioxide in the atmosphere traps the sun rays forming the greenhouse effect, which is warming the earth. Carbon can combine with one oxygen atom to form a deadly gas called carbon monoxide. Carbon black is a pigment in itself is not dangerous, but it's a fine powder and years of exposure can cause some respiratory problems. When you hear the word lead, what comes to mind? Pencil lead? Paint? Bullets? Lead at certain exposure levels is a poisonous substance to animals as well as human beings. It damages the nervous system and causes brain disorders. Excessive lead also causes blood disorders in mammals. Like the element mercury and other heavy metal, lead is a neurotoxin that accumulates both in soft tissues and the bones. However, lead isn't always such a bad thing. It's used in construction, lead acid batteries, and as a radiation shield. So the question is, is lead worth worrying about daily life? A recent study has shown that potentially dangerous amounts of lead have been detected in calcium supplements. The study published in the Journal of American Medical Association found that several of the products contained as much as 3 micrograms for 1,500 milligrams of calcium, approaching the Food and Drug Administration's recommended safety cutoff of 6 micrograms per day. Some may say the health benefits of calcium far outweigh the dangers of lead exposure, but there's no way to be sure. Next time you buy calcium, supplements, be sure to look for the unleaded version. Lead does, however, have some effective uses in daily life. The principal consumption of lead is for the lead acid storage battery in which grid or plate is made of lead or lead with other metal more commonly with antimony. Because of its high ductility, good extrusion ability, relatively low temperature, and excellent proven corrosion resistance when in contact with a wide range of industrial and marine environments, soils, and chemicals, lead alloys are, ex are used extensively as sheathing materials for high voltage power cables, and the use of ammunition with lead bullets, which are commonly used in sports shooting with small arms. It all boils down to how much lead you are willing to expose yourself to and how you use these potentially dangerous elements.